is a canvas and paint in my mind. Colors stand, spill outside the lines. I refuse to settle, never the black and white. Rock the neons until the day I die. I'm on a constant search to make my eyes roll. Bite off too much, shoot like hell. Hello, this is Patty, the Shabby Pink Stamper, and I am wanting to share with you my project. It's going to be a hot air balloon. And so how I made this hot air balloon was I took doilies, and I will put all the um, product numbers for Gone Artsy down below uh, the, vi the video, or hopefully maybe I can edit and j just put the numbers on the screen. But anyway, this is a doily that I got from Gone Artsy. And what I did was I took the doily. Here's just a, another doily that I have. And I sewed. I kind of gathered it together on the sides here to make it a little bit more um, circular in shape or, you know, uh, like a cap. And then I used stiffy stuff. And I put the stiffy stuff on the doily but first I blew up a balloon any balloon this balloon is now deflating but I took a balloon and I, I put it to I blew it to the size that I wanted and then I, I put the doily over that and then soaked it in the stiffy stuff and then you might want to have uh, something to set set it like this and have it dry Okay, so you need a cup or a bowl or something to um, settle dry. And I made one for the top and one for the bottom. And you can have it as stiff as you want. Like I will probably make this a little bit stiffer, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so it's going to go like that. And... Also, I made a basket, but I've done this video a few times, and so um, I already gathered this or did this all on video earlier. What I did was I took a two and three quarter piece of uh, medium uh, chipboard, cardboard, and then I glued it together. Oh, it was uh, 10 by 2 and 3 quarters. And then I covered it in the this paper. And this paper is the Tales of Me. And the paper is the A4 collection. And the paper that I used is the one that has the... It has these. So it has the... Um, journaling spots on there. The journal, journaling cards. And I used this side. So this is a eight and a half by eleven and a half, and what I did was I just cut that two and three quarters. If you have this, you're going to need a, a larger one. So let me say, if I trace the shape, I would trace the shape like this, whatever size you need, and then instead of cutting it to that size, you just cut a little bit bigger than the circle of the size that you need and then I just made little slits all the way to the line and then you just fold that up to the line there I'm sure you guys know how to do this but I'm gonna make the project and I already did it once and there you'll get your circular shape and I just tucked it up in here I put a bead of glue around the edge and then when I tuck this in it just glued it so that's how I got to that point I mean a little bit big I'll cut around there and then I'll maybe I'll sand it down I don't know But let me just trim this up a little. Okay. And then there you end up with your basket for the hot air balloon. 
Okay, something else I also did was I took some copper wire. It's permanently colored pink, and it's 20 gauge, and I cut pieces that were about 15 inches. And then I took this gypsy cord that I got from um, Gone Artsy, and I picked the thicker one. I love it all. I love this blue right here. Maybe I'll incorporate that into the project. I don't know. But what I did was I took this and I just tried to get it into the center of the weave and I just twisted it around. And it really does. It just twists around. It'll go around. You just keep it in the center there and then you can even tighten it. So I did that, and for sake of time, I did that all off video. And so these are my four um, wire with the uh, cording around it. And then I did use the stiffy stuff, and I put the stiffy stuff around it too to make it firm, because I want this to be held up with this. So I have no idea how I'm going to attach the two yet, but I think, I mean, I wouldn't say I have, I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this aside and so how am I going to attach this? I have four of them. So and what I did was I left a little bit of wire here and this has a little extra cording because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. So I think what I'm going to do is put this down in here, if this will fit. I think that'll do, yeah. So see, it's pretty stiff, so I'm going to try and... Um, figure about halfway with the wire and the cording and then I'm going to bend this and I don't know if this will work using the since I use the stiffy stuff but yep it's working okay so I'm just going to pull that through and you know that's what I wanted I wanted it to be tight I mean, not tight, strong enough to hold up this. Okay, so I'm going to do that around the other side, directly across from it, so it'll be equally spaced. more. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And on the outside, and I am going to use some ribbon to cover the cording. But I think that is going to be strong enough to hold that up. I think I'm going to paint the inside of this. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, maybe I will Touch up some of the edges here. Although I'm going to cover this with lace, so you're not going to see it. But okay. This lace here, and I think it's called scallop and 
scallop and something, but I'll put all the, the uh, description and the item numbers down below. So let me cut this to size. Size side, and I'm going to use my Faber Fix. The reason I don't like to use hot glue is because I find that after a while it gets, you know, in different temperatures, it can crack and comes apart. So. I like this fabric fix. Okay, and I'm leaving these up here because then I might want to hide the when I attach these I may want to hide that or something. Not sure, but I am going to on my own camera. I'm going to push these down. So I'm going to cover or maybe wrap. Hopefully, I'll have enough. So let me kind of attach that up there and cover each of these. I'm going to let those two dry, and then in the meantime, I'm going to decorate this. So let me put that aside. Beautiful garden armor, I mean arbor, garden arbor lace. I love it. So I think... I think I'm just going to try and hit the edge of that. Ooh, it dries so fast. So I'm sure these are dry because that dried really fast. Let's see how it fits on here. Oops. Hmm. Maybe I've made it. I put it at an angle. I want to be able to um, put something inside here like lace or some beautiful trim just while it sits on my desk or if I give it to someone.
Okay, I think I want to cover this down here. So Start on a side that's dry. Not that it looks bad. I could always put a little, a little something there, but hot air balloons usually are open down here. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to attach that because I have no idea yet. So let's go back to this and figure out how I could decorate this. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these Prima flowers. So I'm just going to open them all up. And they really are beautiful. Because they have all that glittery shine. Find the front and the back. Okay, yes, I think I'll do that. We've got this. And now I'm going to attach this one. around the edge. Okay. Put a little bit of extra glue to keep this <clears throat> down so it won't unravel because it does unravel. This little loopy Trim. So that's what we're looking at. So now Okay, so let me set this aside to dry while we figure out how we're going to attach this <clears throat> to the basket. I think I'll do it right. So I just made a little hole in there. Hopefully I'll be able to fit whatever it is I need to go in there. So I might make it a little bigger. into my lace it's okay so <clears throat> let's go directly across from that
and I'm not going to worry about that because I'll cover it. So another one is here. I hope I'm on screen showing you, but just making holes so I could fit those cording in. And directly across from here would be right here. Worked out good. So let's try to figure this out. I think I might tuck it in like that because I was hoping, can you see this, to have a little string hanging like that. So, so I could just wrap this around. It's working out. And I will hide all this. So that's, let's just see if this is going to work. And I will tighten that down later. So let me see. Let's go directly across. I might have to pull some of this out of the... Okay, there it's all attached, and I just wrapped these around, so I might cut these down a bit, okay. Everything, it's all gorgeous. It's looking for just the right <coughs> thing. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, what I did was I just added some of this trim to the inside to finish off. I didn't like the, the wire showing. I just attached this flower and the leaf, the prima leaf that I die cut. And I just went around and used the seam binding that Deb sh uh, sells in her shop and uh, just tied bows around each of the twine and wire and attached this flower, added the butterfly, and I added some of this pearl and rhinestone um, chain to the butterfly here. Can you see that? I'll take some pictures. So I hope you'll try and make one. So nice what you can do with just a doily. And some paper and all these beautiful things from Deb's shop. 
So thanks for watching. Bye, and stay tuned. I'll have those pictures. Bye. You get one Take it seriously. This is your message.